Hey, welcome back to Hempfly Homestead. It's breeding time for Cooney Coonies here at Hempfly Homestead. Let's go check out and see what we got going on. Go, 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 Built this on purpose with the gate down there at the end so that we can get them down there in that corner. They can't go out the red gate and get that gate open right there and get them kind of cornered in there and get them right in. It worked beautifully. It worked like a charm. Yeah. 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 So we talked about heat cycle being uh, three days and it's roughly about every 21 days. And this is what we're usually looking for. So this area here, and she's extremely puffy. We'll get really puffy all around here. Collars will change, it'll get nice and red. We did see Simon on her yesterday, but we don't know if he actually got in there. Um, so we'll continue to watch that. But that's kind of what we're looking for. And unfortunately, I don't have an example of what he doesn't look like. Because all of our girls have seemed to sync with each other. We even believe we got these two in heat right now, but we've elected to not breed these until later in the year. <laughs> All right, so again, the heat cycle three days long, and what we're looking for is standing heat. And again, that means that the gills or sow will stand and allow the boar to breed her. So a little test you can do to see if they're standing heat or not is put some little pressure on their backside. Um, I usually try and do that when they're eating because that's a good time to catch them standing still. But also, that's not a great time to test for it because usually food's more important to them and they won't move away from food. So I'm going to go up here and put a little bit of pressure on her and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so she stood there for a little second, but not for long. Yeah. Well, I just happened to be lucky and in the right place at the right time. And I'm catching a little bit of mating action right here. Okay, so what this is, if you're not familiar with pigs, this is what we call a sperm plug. And this is uh, at the end of his ejaculate. And this serves two purposes. Number one, it's... Uh, designed to go in after he's complete and keep all of the sperm in the female and number two to prevent another boar from breeding her because he wants to be the dad he doesn't want somebody else in on his territory so th there's a sperm plug we found that these usually don't stay in they usually find their way right back out of the female but that's the purpose of it and that's what it is it's kind of gelatinous and jelly-like Yeah, very fortunate to have caught that while I was down here. I was hoping to be able to talk about these. I've been walking around the pasture looking for sperm plug as uh, we use that as an indicator to uh, confirm that we have breeding going on. And luckily I was here at the right time and saw it. And there's his plug. You want to see?
Maybe we should have brought feed to feed them. Yeah, we'll get, I'll get him out. You ready? Here we are moving Whoopie Pie, our other Andrew Boar, over to the breeding area where we're going to give him a mate. <laughs> and they say that uh, you should take the female to the male, so Whoopie gets moved first. I hold the gaze, we just heard get whichever one she comes out of. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Come on. Come on. Come on, hey. Come on. Come on. I got your feet. Come on. 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 All right, here goes Whoopi, the Andrew Boar, and sooner the Wilson's Gina guilt. And initially they just chased each other around. She wasn't interested. It's a little early for her yet. She's not quite ready yet. She did try to mount her several times unsuccessfully. And you'll notice right here in a second, see how he's nudging her like on her rear end? Yeah, that's to let her know his intentions. And you see him nudging her there, and he's going to try and mount her again. And off she goes again. She's not interested. No. So finally she stands for him and we were a little bit surprised by this. It's early in her cycle and she shouldn't be quite ready yet. But she's backed into a corner and he's mounted on her from the side. He's not penetrating. And I guess he's just getting a little bit of practice right here. Start whoopee, but I don't think that's going to do it. <laughs> I see you done any breeding in here? <laughs> A is considered able to breed around eight months, and we found that even at five or six months, they'll start trying them out. But are they really mature enough to breed? Uh, you know, that's open for interpretation. We like to shoot for 14 months, and the boar is definitely mature enough at 12. And then our gilts, uh, we're pretty set on 14 months for our gilts. And that's what works for us. Because you definitely want to make sure, above all, that they're physically fit and healthy enough to carry litter. We put these in here yesterday. And Whoopi 
did mount her over here in the corner. But she was kind of stuck in the corner. She wasn't running away from him. She did initially run from him a whole bunch. But she wasn't running away from him when he got on top of her. But she was backed into a corner and he was like off to the side. So pretty sure no breeding took place there. And we haven't found any evidence of them having bred outside of that. Let me see if I can do a little test on her. See, just let me put some pressure on her back. Yeah. Oh, she's holding pretty good. All right. Yeah, I would expect that to be good enough to let him get on top of her. And maybe they have. I've kind of walked through here looking for a sperm plug. And they don't always come out. Sometimes they stay in. But we found that most of the times they come out. And I haven't found any. So no evidence of breeding over here. We'll continue to watch that. Also have the swine pregnancy test. And I'm going to give one more shot. I've always had a negative result from those. Even though we always had piglets. Uh, first time we did it was at about the eight week mark. And some people told us that it only works in the four to six week range. Next time we did it in the four to six week range, it's still negative, but we still had piglets. So I don't know if we got a bad batch of them. <laughs> I don't know if we got a bad batch of them or if they're just not reliable, but we will give them a shot again on these uh, females after this breeding session. And if they don't work this time, then I'm done with them. We'll just uh, continue to let the pig tell us if she's pregnant or not. And the easiest way to tell is that they won't have their next cycle, 21 days. So we mark the calendar and we'll watch it real close. See if another cycle comes or not. Well, I rehearsed this and practiced it and had several points I wanted to make sure we got across in our breeding pair video. I got down in the other breeding pen that we got set up and Simon put on a show for me and I kind of lost train of thought there. So again, we got pairings here. They're going to make some beautiful collars and hopefully be able to sell a lot better uh, with the bonus of the Andrew Boar line. It's going to produce some great meat pigs. We're a little bit behind on where we'd like to be breeding this year. We should have really been breeding back in December to have March piglets, but missed the mark on that. And that's okay. So if all three of these breeding pairs are successful, then we will have three fairing events early May all at the same time. And that'll be a new challenge for us. We've only fared one at a time and right here in the fairing barn. So we're going to have to figure out an alternative solution for fairing multiple litters at the same time. And that'll be coming soon too. So thanks so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and see how all these breeding pairs turn out. Don't forget to look for Hemtight Homestead on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Look for piglets in early May. We'll see you next time. Why not?